Well, hundreds of students in St. Paul staging a walkout today to send a message to the district. They are concerned about in-person learning as COVID-19 cases surge. The St. Paul Public School System still has students in the classroom, while some districts have returned to distance learning. Fox 9's Maury Glover reports today's walkout is an effort to make sure the district takes their input into account. At Highland Park Senior High School, hundreds of students walked out of class because they say the St. Paul Public School District isn't making the grade when it comes to handling COVID-19. This is an equity issue. This is life or death. The students want the district to return to district learning for two weeks while it comes up with a plan for them to return to the classroom safely. They also have a list of demands, including providing KN95 masks for staff and students, twice a week testing for staff, and weekly testing for students. We're in the midst of a public health crisis, keeping our students and families safe from the spread of the multiple variants of COVID-19 and continuing to provide educational options to all of our students is critical at this time. The district says it has addressed some of the students' concerns. Staff are already tested once a week, and the district just ordered more N95 masks that are currently for staff, but will be made available for students in the future. But the district says it has no plans to test all students because it would cost $1.6 million a week and plenty of community testing sites are available. The current situation is unsustainable. To do nothing is abdicating the school's district's responsibility to our community. In the meantime, students say they will continue the walkouts until their voices are heard. We do not want to die trying to receive our education. The time is now and staff and faculty must be sure to it that SPBS students receive their deserving education. And Maury joins us now live in the newsroom. Maury, I, I know that St. Paul Public Schools and other districts received money from the American Rescue Plan for COVID response efforts. Is that money being used? Yeah, they did, and the district is supposed to get more than $200 million over the next three years specifically to deal with COVID. District officials say they plan to allocate about $2.2 million of that for PPE, and they already used 400000 of that to order those N95 masks. Randy? All right, Maury, thank you.